Chapter 12, The Only Option. Thank you for helping with our criminal investigation. We have messed for under protection. Our safety is assured. We are we are dedicated all resources to the pursuit of Grovile. If you come across any information related to this case, please let us know. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. That is all. Now please excuse us. My, my, I'm absolutely astonished. So there was a lake deep under the northern desert? And that wasn't all? Its time gear was also down there? Yes, but about that time gear, Grovile stole it. And we failed to even slow down Grovile. In the end, that's the same as doing nothing at all. That's not true by golly. You all did great work. Hey, hey, I think so too. Team Dick LOL can be really... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> it was just, it was so serious. Then, hey, good job, Team Dick. LOL. <laughs> There's no clue telling us what we should do next. Hey, if we had only one tiny hint, I must agree. Where will Grovile strike next? We have no way of knowing. It's too bad that the opportunity to catch him slipped away. We're back to square one. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Dustmore, sir. There are some clues. One time gear was found at Fogbound Lake, guarded by Uxi, correct? Another time gear was found at the Underground Lake, guarded by Mespert. Oh, that reminds me, Mespert told us something interesting. Mespert knew that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Uxi alerted her by telepathy. Incredible. Now that is really something. I should have known. There's an ancient legend. It is believed that Uxi is the being of knowledge and that Mespert is the being of emotion. But three Pokemon in total represent the spiritual world and are said to keep the world in balance. Three? So, besides Yuxi and Mesprit, there's another Pokemon like them? Yes. The last of the trio is Azelf, known as the being of willpower. Yuxi and Mesprit, both guarded time gears. Therefore, Azelf may likewise be protecting a time gear. Oh, I see. If we could locate Azelf, we may find a time gear with the Pokemon. And we may have a chance at seeing that the thief Grovile appear. That's correct. Those three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf, all three are said to dwell at lakes. It's a fact that both Yuxi and Mesprit were encountered at lakes. As such, I believe that Azelf will be found in a lake somewhere. Let's keep something in mind. Yuxi's last U Uxi's lake was located on a high plateau. Mesprit's lake was located far beneath the desert. In both cases, the lakes were in unusual places. So the lake where his elf lives, will be somewhere that we least expect it to be. I get it now! You're saying we shouldn't look for water in the unusual in the usual places. My my my, I commend you on your wisdom, Dustnoir, sir. I feel renewed admiration for you. Thank you. It's really nothing. No no, we too revere you. First it was you, Dustnoir, sir, who directed us to the northern desert. It turned out that there was a time gear far below the desert. So, Dustnoir, sir, your insult was entirely correct. Ooh, so maybe the other places we searched, the Eastern Forest and Crystal Cave. I wonder why Crystal Cave is highlighted. Those places could still be hiding their secrets from us. Oh, I have an idea. Badoof. Yup, yup, you want me? What can I do for you? I have a request. That crystal you picked up previously, may I borrow it briefly? My crystal? No, no sirree, that's my precious treasure, by golly. Of course, but rest assured we won't take it away, or do anything of the sort. Now, Pikachu, there's something I would like you to do. Please, touch Badoof's crystal. I should touch his p crystal? <laughs> if a secret remains hidden in the crystal cave, Pikachu touches that crystal, it may trigger the dimensional screen. It may trigger a vision. I see. That's what this is about. Dimensional scream. What's that? That's what that. That's what you do every morning. It's a special ability that Pikachu has. Sometimes when Pikachu touches something, then Pikachu has a vision of the event in the past or the future that involves it. Oh my gosh! Really? Hey, hey, hey! There's some. There's a really an ability like that. I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of Pikachu's ability. Please, may we? Oof. 
<laughs> okay, I can't refuse a reason like that. Thank you, Badoof. It's crystal. What will I reveal? Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well, Pika team? Here it comes. The dizziness is starting. Ugh. Uh, now I'll take it. The time gear! No, you can't take it. Never. That was... Grovile was trying to steal a time gear! There was also another Pokemon. Was it a Zelf? Anyway, the crystal did trigger a vision. Did you see anything, Pikachu? What? You saw Grovile knock out a Pokemon? One you've never seen before? And then he tried to steal a Time Gear? Oh my gosh, your ability is thrilling! How did you see all that, by golly? It's mighty hard for me to grasp. Hey, Pikachu, so that Pokemon you couldn't recognize. Do you think it might be a self? I, I have a question for you, Pikachu. Did you see the past? Or was that in the future? Come to think of it. Visions in the past, visions in the future. It's never clear when my visions take place. So you're not sure if it's in the past or the future? Well then, since it's impossible to tell if the vision is of the future or the past, then Pikachu's vision may well be a past event. In that case, the time here may have already been stolen from there. What? You're saying we might already be too late? Everyone, please hold on. Yes, it's true that it may have been a vision of the past, but could have been a vision of the future. You would be so kind. Could you remind us of what Mespert said, Charty B? Who informed Mespert via telepathy that a time gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, did you say that it was Yuxi? Uh. Yeah, there's no mistake. But the name Azelf. I've never heard it before. The name Azelf is new to me. I only heard it today from you, Dustnoir, sir. And there's still a chance. If Mesper claimed that Azelf had alerted her about the stolen time gear, then Picatine's dimensional scream would surely be from the past. If that was not the case, Mesper did not mention Azelf. Therefore, it's possible that the event happens in the future. I see. One more point, and this is a sure thing. Upon touching the crystal, Pikachu experienced the dimensional scream. The vision indicated the presence of a time gear, which means maybe what we seek is in Crystal Cave. Perhaps there's a passage there that leads to a time gear. Yeah, maybe it is there! Of course, we may already be too late. Or, we may still have time. As long as a chance remains, we must never give up. It's our only option. <laughs> Chapter 12, yeah. Hey, hey, absolutely! There's no other choice. We have to pin our hopes on this. Good thinking, Dust Noir. Sorry, yup, yup. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Let's go, everyone! Let's search Crystal Cave! Dust Noir, sir. There's only one thing to do, and that's explore Crystal Cave. Let's go. The whole guild will be involved. Onward to Crystal Cave! Guildmaster, please issue the call to duty. Guildmaster? Huh? Guildmaster? Guildmaster, are you with us? Huh? Hey, you gotta be kidding. No, it looks like he's fully asleep, with his eyes wide open too. Ew. <laughs> that just called. We didn't want to use an extra sprite. <laughs> Ee, the Guildmaster is so very charming. Uh, when do you all suppose he took snoozing? You think that maybe he's been asleep from the get-go? Oh no, this just won't do. Everyone knows that the Guildmaster is sleeping. I must rouse him somehow. <laughs> Guildmaster! Guildmaster! Huh? Guildmaster! Chat it! Yes? Guildmaster? Er, I mean, yes, Guildmaster. Er, take it from the top. There was. Everyone, we're going after Grovile! Yunta! Hooray! Let's go to Crystal Cave. Hey, there has to be a secret there somewhere. Let's get down to business and start our search. I will accompany you to Crystal Cave. Let's do our best, everyone. Hooray! Uh, 
I don't even know when that Mulan. <laughs> Chad, it's like Sprite is like frozen up there. Is he good? Let's get going to Picatine on to Crystal Cave. Okay, buddy. I don't even know when that Mulan movie comes out. I honestly don't give a shit. But we are given our next objective. Crystal Cave. No, not from Yoshi's Island. Why would you think that? Um, real quick. Give me it all and goodbye. Woo! Okay. I got a lot of boxes. Come on. Okay, I like the gummy. Blissy song? I guess that's just for Blissy. Ivy Sore. Damn it. Hip Lop. I don't need any of that. Okay. Time to do more like cleaning duty. Um that is useless to me. That is also useless to me. There we go. Thank you. And we're good. And now let's check the shop. I will take Reviver Seed. And I'm going to take another Reviver Seed. And now I have three Reviver Seeds. And I'm going to put my money back in the bank. And that's what we're doing. Okay. Now, on to Crystal Cave. With Fanfy. So this is Crystal Cave. Somewhere inside this cave, there should be a passageway that leads to a Zelfs Lake. But it will take us forever if we search every step of the way. For starters, let's go as deep as we can. Let's do our best, Picatine. Crystal Cave looks pretty, but I don't like the music. It's kind of generic, so that's the only downside. But it's okay, because I can hardly hear the music. Also, we're back in a cave, which means... The fuck you mean you found an item somewhere? What the... Where? <laughs> Gee, thanks. And he's like, guys, there's an item in here. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yes. Where is it? It's in here. Trust me. You just gotta... You know, Keep exploring, you know, like, play the game. Okay. So, we're dealing again with ground and types and whatnot. Maybe it won't be so bad. I think if it's crystal, no. I think if we're in, like, crystal cave, I'm going to be dealing with steel types, if Beldum's any um, indication. Okay. We'll get there. Might take a little bit. Uh oh, spaghettios. Go get him, Charlie. God, this fucking graveler. Don't worry, Chard. I will throw a rock at it. It's okay, cool. I am leveling up so fast. Like, damn. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> Go to sleep. Oh. Oh! Fuck! I didn't create a restore point and I want to restart. Which means I have to go through the fucking cutscene again! You fucking piece of shit. I just want to go to the chicken tree! Here, enemies! I saw the stupid ass snake. How many new bastards are there? Just a kabaku! You bastard! Look at that little fucker! Like ah, you have to deal with me now. Fine, get up here, you little shit. Let me show you what Team Dick LOL is made of. 
Thanks, Rampy. Aren't you like part of, what was your team name? The Potatoes? Something like stupid? Oh my god, let me the fuck away! You deal with this shit, I'm tired of dealing with all this fucking horse shit. Alright, there's an enemy at every fucking turn! This shouldn't be called Crystal Cave, fuck, this should just be called Crowded Cave. Like, a million fucking enemies are here, Cave. Eat the gummy. You're orange, you're gonna eat the orange gummy, too. Cool. I just want the stairs, and I'm holding up, and, uh, okay. She wasn't going up. Uh, okay, everyone, we officially got to the point where I am now skipping. Just like I knew I would. It took a little bit. <gasps> I'm annoyed. Was it because I wasted a reviver seed? I have to fight like a million fucking. No wonder I'm leveling up so fast, because there's so many of these stupid ass fuckers. I need the. Hey there. <sighs> there we go, that's good. Huh. Why? <laughs> There's so many. It's just not, it's not that bad, honestly. It was just, I had one, one bad encounter, stupid graveler, that's it. Everything else is fine. Everything else is peachy keen. As long as I don't run into another graveler, I'll be good. What's this orb? Stay away. I like that. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Ah, I chose right. Oh, look, now everything's red. It's like that one, uh, Sonic level. Crystal Palace. Right. Oh, there he is. You know, where's my stay away or Where the fuck is it? Wait, what? I want to find the stick. Okay. You know what? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah, counter that, asshole. Okay, well, this may not have been the best idea. At least he's paralyzed. Oh, pfft. that was lucky. Get it. Good job, guys. Let's go up. Let's go right. That only did 20 damage. That did a little more. And now we use that. And here's the orb. Blowback. Oh no, blowback! This is probably just a dead end, but you know, I gotta check it just in, in case. What is that? Very glad I looked at the seed. Oh, fuck. Okay. Reflect. Yeah, that's nice. I don't need it. Oh, good, just in case the other one wasn't, like, enough of a problem. Alright. You're just gonna attack it, which I didn't want you to do. 
Charty, I wanted you to move out so that way you could have three people on them. That's what she said. That's not what I want. Whatever. Um, no. Alright, you'll get them next time, champ. Okay, we'll take that. What the fuck? My, like, cursor is, like, going twice as far as I want it to. Oh, you really got me. Hey! Money! I don't care about the bean. <gasps> I just... Guess what I just recalled, everyone? Guess what I just recalled? I... Guess what I don't have fucking... Why are you holding the skateboard? What the... When the hell did... Oh... That was... Oh, I get it. Whenever the game was like, Fancy found an item, that's what it was. Again, why do I have to equip that every single fucking time? It's so dumb. Oh, it splits up. Well, it had no purpose. At least I figured it out. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Well. Alright, well, at least I got Charty here. Help me, Charty! Thank you, Charty. So fast, they, they level up so fast. Oh, nice. You know what? I, I was raging earlier. I was, but you know what? I Things are okay now. Things are all better. Things are good. And it's I'm glad. I'm glad that, like, I'm able to, you know, just take a deep breath, know that everything's okay. Every little thing above is gonna be alright. Alright, alright, alright. Don't worry about a thing. A thing, a thing, a thing, a thing. Every little thing. Alright, fuck. Sure, no. It's level 28? Holy crap! You, you have shit health though, but. Still, damn. I always wonder if I'm like under level in these games, and then like, I don't know. I don't think so. God, it died. Oh, that's a big room. Go diagonal. Oh. Okay. Alright, Wormadon. Show me how good you are. Okay, good job. I like that rock less. And you're on the stairs. And we got to the depths! Look at that! <laughs> There's a Kangaskhan statue, so we have to continue. Uh, is this the deepest part of the caverns? Hey, Picatine, over there! Look at these three crystals. They're huge. They're in different colors, too. Clearly, they stand out from the other crystals. On the way here, we didn't see anything out of the ordinary. So I think these three crystals are clues. They must be keeping a secret. It makes sense. I feel the same way. On the journey to Fogbound Lake, where we met Yuxi. Grout on stone statue held the secret. Then on the way to the underground lake where we met Mesprit. The quicksand pools allowed passage into the underground lake. 
Could this place lead to a Zelf's Lake? It should be like the other two places. There should also be a secret here. Wow, the crystals change color when you touch it. This crystal changes color when you touch it too. This one's have something to do with solving the place's secret. Try touching them yourself. The color does change when I touch it. And it can change into a variety of colors. I wonder if that's a puzzle. These crystals changing colors? What could this all mean? <laughs> I wonder if they're just going to solve it for me right now. I see the three spiritual elements of knowledge, emotion, and willpower. A zelf is the being of willpower. Willpower is the motivation that drives us. It's a unifying power. To unify is to make one. So if the colors of the crystals were made one, the path should reveal itself. What is the color of Zelf's spirit? That is the question. Zelf lives a crystal lake. Then the Zelf's spirit must be affected by the crystals. That was a voice. No, that's wrong. This happened once before. It was at the Groudon statue. I heard the voice too. I know what the puzzle is now. Okay. Thank you. They're all blue. That's the, that's the puzzle. Make them all blue. Woohoo! Uh, Trammer. It's dangerous, Pigatine. Let's back off. The real crystal cave. Wow, what is this? There's a big jagged opening in the middle. Do you think we should go through there? Maybe that leads to his elf's lake. Yep. Or maybe it should leads to a fucking Barnes and Nobles. Who knows? They open a path that may lead to a time gear. Let's go, Picatine. Onward. Wait, I wanted to save. <gasps>